We're here on Windsor Drive. This is one of the spots the National Weather Service says this tornado hit. And take a look at the damage out here. This giant tree snapping as those powerful winds moved through. You can see trees lining all the way down the street as that tornado moved in this area. Now people who live around here are left cleaning up a big mess. I've never seen anything like that before. Lynn Doty was watching out the window of her Easton home when the winds started picking up last night. It lifted the branches as if it were an umbrella that was going inside out. And then all of a sudden, the branches were swirling at the top. Over in Foxborough, splintered trunks and downed trees lined streets where the National Weather Service confirms an EF1 tornado hit, producing peak wind of 105 miles per hour. It was probably a noise you probably couldn't really explain it. You know, it came down, it came down hard. A giant tree fell onto Mark Butler's house in Easton. His wife was sitting just feet away as it came crashing down. My wife was actually on the porch filming the rain and she turned her camera off. Within 15 seconds, that tree came down. Power crews hoisted in the air, repairing downed lines and replacing damaged poles. Tree limbs and leaves litter Jack Clifton's yard. As he cleans up the mess, he knows things could have been worse. Well, luckily, it all missed us, and we're just glad nobody got hurt. Nothing got damaged over here. And and while the National Weather Service confirms this is tornado damage, they had crews out surveying today and they say they found evidence of straight line winds and microbursts in parts of Easton, East Bridgewater and Brockton. Just a testament to how powerful that storm was last night. Live in Foxborough, Emily Maha, WCVB News Center 5.